So we are going to continue our discussion on the operators in Wedlock. So before I go into some more details about adders, uh, let me discuss about the assignment operator. So as you know, the assignment operator is the equal to sign in Wedlock. So let's take an example here. Test assignment. Uh, I have say a four bit input. Let's call my input and I have only a 3-bit output. Let's call it my output. So I'm just writing my output equal to my input and we need to put a sign here. Okay, so let's again call it test assignment dot v now if you look at the code you can find out what i'm doing i have a four bit input but my output is only three bit and i am directly assigning this four bits to this three bit now in wedlock this is not an error depending upon the tool that you are using you may get a warning during compilation in simulation or when we go for implementation the implementation tool may give you a warning saying that you are trying to assign a 4-bit input to a 3-bit output, okay? So this is not an error. Now, can you assume what is going to happen when I'm going to give some input and what will come out, okay? So let's simulate and see what really happens. Then I will try to explain what is really happening. So vlog test assignment, we see work dot test assignment. So to my input, let me give a value one one zero zero, and let's run it, and you will see in the output. You are getting one zero zero. Okay, so what happened? This MS bit is missing. To make sure we are actually missing the MS bit, let me give a value uh, zero one 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 and run. You can see the output is one one one. Okay, so basically this is what is going to happen. So you have a module here. Here you are giving four input wires and you have three output wires and you are saying your input is going to the output okay so this is your lsp this is the msp so whenever you do the assignment operation The assignment actually starts from the least significant bit. Okay, so this will go here, this will go here, this will go here, and it won't get connected anywhere. Okay, so that keep that in mind. Assignment always starts from least significant bit. Now suppose if you want to get the upper three bits and you want to drop the least significant of the input because sometimes it is possible we have four bit data coming but we can process only three bit data okay so out of this four bit which three bits you will be choosing again okay. depending upon the scenario usually we will take the upper three bits because they have more significant values than the lower one bit okay so in that case uh, you will have to explicitly write it like this okay so this is three bits one two three and this is also three bits so i am saying take the upper three bits and give it here so let's try once again So this time to my input, I'm giving one 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 zero, and when I run, 
you will see the output is 111 he dropped this one so in this case we explicitly told my output 3 bits so let me remove it my output 3 bits should be coming from the upper 3 bits of my input so physically what happens is this gets connected here this gets connected here and this gets connected here now suppose you want something like this you want to connect this bit this bit and this bit suppose you want to do something like that so you want this here you want this here you want this here okay so how do we write it here no, there is no shortcut to write it here because we have zeroth bit, then second and third one. So that we cannot write explicitly. So we can say like I need zeroth bit, then my input three down to two because they are continuous. Okay. So this is what we actually need. So the zero bit from here should go to the zero bit here. Second and third bits from here should go to the upper two bits here. Okay. But the syntax for doing it is slightly different. So you do it like that. Then you put a comma and you have to put a curly bracket around them. Okay. So this curly bracket in Vidlog is called a concatenation operator this is not the curly bracket that we use in C to indicate the beginning and end of a code block here it is different okay so here it's a special operator called the concatenation operator so if you don't put this and if you try to compile you will give an error see in your semicolon that's an error line 6 he won't accept it so you need to put this concatenation operator. So you're basically saying combine these signals together and treat them as a single signal because this is a single signal. Although it is three bits wide, name wise, this is like a single bus. So you can assign a single bus to an another bus. When you separate them like this, this is representing like two separate buses so that you cannot directly assign. So you have to explicitly say, treat these two guys together as a single unit as a single bus and assign it to this signal so we'll have to use the concatenation operator so once you put concatenation operator he'll be happy the window is already open so i can just restart and this time let's see i'm giving 1101 as my input and the output is 111 this zero is neglected okay so i hope that is clear so just remember when you assign signals to another signals the assignment always starts from the ls bit now let's look at the other case you have an input which is smaller than the output so suppose i have three signals coming from here and i have four signals going here out and I'm just saying my output equal to input so here also the assignment always starts from the ls bit so this will go here this will go here this will go here what will go here nothing gets connected here so in simulation what value will come here let's see so I take the same code and just change my input to two output to 3 and let me write my output is my input and recompile again this is also not an error there is not even a warning from model sim although the bit widths are different but when we go to quarters he might give a warning so this is 3 this is 4 let me give a value 101 to my input and if you run the output is 0101 and let me give another value 
and output is 0 1 1 1 so he is always assigning it seems like always assigning 0 to this signal that means this is permanently grounded now what value will come on this signal will depend upon the simulator okay so it need not be always 0 if you try on some other simulators uh, you will find instead of 0 or 1 you will get a value x here which stands for unknown so logic levels in weight log we will discuss later so you already know we have one state one the high state we have zero the low state then we have a state called x which means unknown okay so this x you will see only in simulation that means the simulator is basically saying he doesn't know what is the value coming on this signal but in a real world there is no unknown because these are physical wires when you measure the voltage it will be either one or zero but the simulator is saying uh, he can't predict or he doesn't know what value is coming here because you are not assigning any value okay another value that you will see is called z which stands for high impedance now by default when you simulate this will come in green color this will also come in green color this will come in red color and this will come in purple or blue color okay these are the default colors but of course you can change them for example let me restart here when you restart you will see by default see all your inputs their values are z z z so the details about high impedance how they physically happen uh, i will explain later so basically you will get a z when input is not correct so in simulator when you see blue color that means that's an input and it is not connected or no value is being driven by that input so in the simulator here if i just run it now you will see it is blue color my input basically it's saying like no value is driven on this particular input the output is also zzz because i wrote like output equal to input but because the MS bit is not connected, he is showing it as zero. But as I said before, some other simulator, if you try, it will show X unknown. Both are fine. Okay. Now these buses you can expand here in model sim to see the individual signal values. So all three of them are in high impedance, blue. Here, except the third bit, all of them are in zero now similar to our previous discussion you have four wires here three wires here suppose you always want to send a high here okay this signal you always want it to be one how can we do it so the concept of concatenation you can still use it so physically what we need we need to connect these three wires like this and this wire we want to permanently connect to vcc or high voltage okay so how are we going to write it so let's come back here now my output equal to my input that is fine as you know assignment happens from the rightmost bit so the first three bits here will go to the first three bits here the uppermost bit i want it to be one okay high high value so which we will represent using one in weight look and i can say consider this as a single unit again if you don't put concatenation here that's an error now simply writing one here will work again let's see You are getting a warning here okay that's what i'm saying we'll come back to it but let's test whether it is working 
and let me give the input as 000, zero, zero. and when I run you will see the opt is 1. So no matter what value I am giving to the input, the output will be always 1 because I told so. Now this will work but the recommended way of writing this one is slightly different okay because this is a hardware description language and when you come to this figure uh, when I simply say one in Vigilog again this is treated as a integer like in our C and integers are represented using 32 bits so in Vigilog integers are always 32 bits it doesn't matter the simulator or implementation tool you are using unlike C it is always 32 bit so you are basically asked to concatenate this 3 bit number with a 32 bit number which represents 1 so you have 31 zeros followed by 1 so this is what you actually asked to do and when you are doing it of course your input became now larger than your output and the assignment starts from the rightmost bit so this one will come here so that's how it worked but you actually wanted to say I want to concatenate a single one to this signal that's what you actually wanted to say now how are we going to say it okay so for that you have to use this syntax one tick b one okay so this is the single quotation mark on your keyboard and we usually say like one tick b one so this basically says okay let me write down one tick b one so you are basically saying this is a one bit number and this one base this one value so these two things together it is saying value of the signal is one in binary that's what it means okay so that's why we wrote it one tick b one now uh, let me take a another example to explain it slightly better okay so my input is 3 suppose my output is 5 bits okay so these 3 bits will directly go here no issue now there are two more bits in our new case so I have two more bits coming here okay so what value I want to assign here I need to assign some constant here so you can assign 0, 1, 2, 3. So these are the four possible cases for this upper bit. So that you can represent in different ways. 2 to represent say 2 bit. Tick B 1 1. That means it's a 2 bit signal. Its value is always 1 1. This is one way of writing it. And if you simulate. restart and if I force here you will see see the value is showing as ZZZ because it's an input and he's saying currently no values are assigned to the input that's why it is Z here also it is Z right and output all X that means at the beginning of the time he doesn't know what is the output so let me give uh, zero, zero, 0 as my the inputs but when I run you will see the upper two bits are always one because we asked it to be one now instead of binary you can use other number systems also for example same thing you can write it as two tick D two again the meaning is same it's a two bit signal two bits wide and its value in decimal is force 
Again, let me give zero, zero, zero. Okay. And you will see, if you look at the upper two bits, it's one zero, which is two in decimal. Okay. So you can specify it in binary, decimal, hexadecimal, or octal. For octal, you put O here. Okay. So B for binary, D for decimal, H for hexadecimal, O for octal. You can use capital O or small letter for the base values. It doesn't matter. But remember, the value that you give here should be valid. For example, if I write 2 tick B2, and if you try to compile, it will give an error. He's basically saying in binary, there is no symbol called 2. Yes, if you are specifying binary, value should be 1s and zeros only. For decimal, 0 to 9. For hexadecimal, 0 to 9 then a to f for octal 0 to 7 so they should be valid uh, another thing that may happen is it is a 2 bit and in decimal you are saying i want value 5 there okay so let's try again not even a warning but what is the problem you cannot represent 5 using 2 bit so what is going to happen exact same thing will happen 5 the minimum number of bits is 3 so this is how 5 will look like and you are saying you want a 2 bit signal so what he will do he will take the lower 2 bits so instead of getting 5 you will be getting 1 there always so let's try simulating okay so let me give force Okay, let me give one, one, one this time, and one. You will see the upper bits. It is zero, one. Okay, zero, one. These lower three bits are coming from here. The upper one is zero, one, which is this zero, one. So this one is simply neglected because we have only two wires here. We cannot have five using two wires. Now let's take one more example of concatenation for this tutorial. Okay, so I have my input here. Suppose it is five bits wide. I have two outputs. For example, my output one and okay, my output two. Okay, this is three bits. This is three bits. So let's make them two bits each. Now output one output two. Now what I need is I need the lower two bits from here to go here and the upper two bits to go here. So that you can write it in different ways. One way is my output one is my input one down to zero, you can say and after that you can say assign my output 2 equal to my input 3 down to 2 right so the lower two bits they are going here the upper three, the upper two bits that is going here this is perfectly fine okay that's perfectly fine Another way is you can use the concatenation here also. So you can simply say my output 2 comma my output 1 is my input like this. So what is going to happen? You are basically saying treat these two guys as a single unit and assign this value to this one. So again assignment will start from LS bit. So his lower two bits will go here because this is two bits wide. His upper two bits will go here because he is also two bits wide. So the sizes are matching. So no issues, four bits, four bits. Now suppose this is something like this, two down to zero, one down to zero. So what will happen? His three bits, zero, one, two, that will go here. His third bit will go here as this guy's zeroth bit his first bit is not driven. So in simulation, you will see the uppermost bit of my output 2 will be always 0. Right? 
because this is overall only 4 bits this is 3 plus 2 5 bits and you are assigning a 4 bit number to a 5 bit number so the uppermost bit will remain 0 in model sim simulator some other simulators the upper bit will be x basically unknown practically it can be 0 or 1 it depends uh, on the chip how we finally design it physically design it okay so i hope now you have a better idea about assignment operator and the concatenation operator uh, the details of signed and unsigned operations we will discuss in the next tutorial